Leslie and I will be researching the gender wage gap, where we will consider the difference in average wages between men and women. We employ a hierarchical regression model and an MLR model to determine which would better predict average wage. So why does this matter? Well, many studies have found that women with the same job title are paid far less than men, but it's unclear where or when the wage gap is worse. The data comes from Glassdoor and includes a thousand cases and nine variables. We created a new variable called STEM to group people based on their job field. In the future, this variable can help determine the depth of the wage gap in figuring whether it is wider in STEM than other fields. We wish to go beyond the MLR model, so we considered the mean and standard deviations of the base pay grouped by gender. As we can see, there's about a $10,000 difference in favor of men with similar standard deviations. It's justifiable to use a hierarchical representation with a group-specific model and a shared standard deviation. We actually did two Bayesian models, the first being the hierarchical MLR model, and I will just be going over the JAX script, but feel free to pause the previous two slides. Basically, we are modeling each observation y i j as a normal distribution with a gender-specific mean and a common sigma, and the gender-specific mean is uh, modeled by, is a linear combination of our predictors age, STEM, and seniority. So sigma is actually going to be a gamma 1, 1 distribution, and each of the regression coefficients in the two MLRs are going to be normally distributed where the respective mu's is a normal uh, 0, 1 distribution and the respective tau's as a gamma 1, 1. So they're all just weakly informative. And then for uh, the basic Bayesian MLR model, we use the Bearness package in R, which is useful because it sets the priors for us. And basically we're just taking a linear combination of base pay with all predictors, including gender, and saving a posterior samples from this posterior distribution. And from there, we check the MCMC diagnostics as well as perform posterior predictive checks. And we could also compare the two models by their posterior summaries as well as how they predict base pay between genders.